Hey there, it's Jen, and I have a super quick process video for you today. This is a story that I wanted to tell of this photo of my nephews where I decided to use this cloud paper from the Wild Child Collection from Pink Paisley to, I really wanted to focus on that paper. And this is a story that I don't have a great photo for. You can see that photo isn't amazing, but it has a cute little conversation. And so I really am just gonna focus on that conversation and making this cute, uh, paper really stand out. So I ended up cutting through one of the clouds with my X-Acto knife there and I just kind of slid my photo into it because I wanted the clouds to really have presence on this layout. And what I'm doing now is using the chipboard pieces from the, um, the Wild Child collection to do my title. And there is a sentiment or a phrase that says love you to the moon and it's kind of ombre and what I'm doing is I'm lining up that line with the lines of that are on the paper and I end up embellishing this very very simply and just really making the paper stand out that's kind of what I was hoping for the paper and the words to stand out here and that I feel like I really did accomplish that so I'm doing color on color kind of thing which I love doing um, and so you can see there that the darkest is at the bottom and it fades up to the light and it's all resting there on that, uh, on that cloud. Now at this moment, I'm taking the sticker sheet and trying to decide if I want to put embellishments all over the background that match those colors. And I think that would be a super fun way to embellish this layout. And I definitely thought about it for a few minutes and thought how I could just go crazy with embellishments. This works especially well if you have some stickers or embellishments that you don't know what to do with um, because maybe they don't quite fit a theme or something. It doesn't really matter when you're embellishing by color. It's just you're doing it for the color and that's all that matters. Um, but I end up deciding against doing that. I wanted it just keep it a little bit more simple. So I'm going to use a couple. I can't remember if I use more than one, but I use a rocket there and I'm because of the sentiment that says love you to the moon. And I'm just going to focus on really that and a few other small embellishments and really focus on the journaling for this layout. So you'll see as I play around here a little bit that I start down a different path, but I end up changing my mind. And this layout came together so quickly because I really did keep it simple. So I'm just looking through the embellishments, all of the embellishments I have for the Wild Child collection and trying to see if there's anything that might be just perfect for this. I've got this six by six paper pad here and I'm thinking I'm gonna cut out one of these uh, pieces from the, there's like one a piece that has just a bunch of phrases on it and I cut that out and it says, what does it say? I can't even, oh, Coolio. <laughs> I end up not using it, but I think it's really cute. Uh, so at this point, I'm just thinking, let me get my journaling done. So you can see I wrote my journaling on two of the clouds. I used a light gray marker or a pen because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want it to take up a lot of visual weight. Uh, so I, again, keeping it kind of tonal, I feel like the gray kind of blends into the clouds. And here's where I took some alcohol markers and I colored these thickers that are from the uh, Paige Evans pick me up collection and I just love them. I've used them so many times and I'm just coloring them kind of an aqua color because I want there to be a title but I don't want it to be bold. I just, I, I want there to be a little something that says this was a conversation we had because I did do it, Aunt Jen, Denver, Aunt Jen, Denver, um, that's my nephew. <laughs> and so I just wanted to put the words overheard. And so I just colored them kind of peach to match the background there. It's not a perfect match. I wish it was a little bit of a different color, but I used what I had and that was all I could do. So I think it's fine. It just ended up working just fine. I'm going to put three little dots there too. And this was the funniest little conversation that we had. I told my nephew he had nice lips and he said he was going to kiss his mom on the lips when he was a man. And he said he was going to be a man when he was five and then 27. And then my other nephew, Wes, just kept saying over and over again, 
this pepperoni isn't even spicy. And it was just like the most typical conversation with those two little boys. And I just wanted to document it. It's just something silly that when I look back at it, I know we're all going to laugh about it because it's just so them and it's just a cute little thing. So I stamped the date in yellow on that cloud because there's a yellow stripe there. And so again, I'm just trying to do things by color a little bit. And at this point, I'm thinking, okay, how do I want to embellish this? I know I want to keep it simple. So I'm thinking about I, I know I don't want to use all of those stickers and things, so I am going to take out a star punch that I have. I'm just going to punch kind of tone on tone colors of these stars, and I have a couple of different sizes here. One of those punches is from Fiskars. The other one is like from the dollar spot at Joanne or something. Um, I just wanted two different sizes of those stars, at least two. And so uh, I have that larger one and then one that's small, but they're all pretty small. And what I'm going to do, I think this is a great way to embellish when you don't, when you need to add something, but you don't want it to pull your eye too much. Uh, you still want it to have a little pop, but not too much. Um, you can do tone on tone like this and then pop them up on foam squares. It gives just a little bit of a shadow, so they stand out a little bit more than just being... Um, glued straight to the paper and you can see that as I put these on here that you get that little bit of shadow which is really nice and I'm just kind of lining those up and I love the way it looks and it's just the most subtle little detail but once you add those pop dots behind it it's just enough and so I'm really happy with the way that these turned out I did some pr on pretty much every color uh, on I just felt like I needed a couple uh, here and there and I wanted some of them to overlap colors like that. The one at the bottom left, there's a piece of it goes through the dark blue and on the light blue. And I really like that. So I try to mimic that in um, another place here. And I can't remember if I end up doing it between the pink and and the salmon color or what but um, this paper pad has three of each of the papers in it so I was glad of that so that I could punch some of these stars out of it and not feel bad about using it because that's my favorite paper in the collection and I haven't used it yet so I was glad to be able to use it here there we go it has a tiny bit of orange I don't think I actually used that one I tried to do the orange and yellow but it just there wasn't enough overlap it just looked weird um, but I'm just you know going to work at it. I have these teeny tiny pop dots and they don't make them anymore or at least I can't find them anywhere. They're from Cool Tack and they're itty bitty tiny and I like those for little little embellishments like this and so it's nice to have them on hand. I don't use them very often but uh, when I do I'm glad I have them. So pretty much that's going to pretty much complete my layout after I put these little uh, stars on I get a few on all of the colors and I will punch out some red as well and that's going to finish this so I hope that you have enjoyed this try something simple let your words do the talking let your paper shine like I think it's okay to love a pretty paper and to just let it shine uh, I always like to have a story on there but there's nothing wrong with pretty paper so go to it uh, I hope that you've enjoyed you can head over to the pink paisley blog for more info and to see these photos close up and I will leave links in the video description for all the products I used and a link to the Pink Paisley blog. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope that I'll see you again here very soon.